Good evening, Let's Talk Sports. There's truly a wealth of talent in the Texas Panhandle when it comes to athletics, but it's not just the players you see on the field. We have some of the best coaches the state has to offer, too. And the Texas High School Coaches Association just recognized two of the very best by inducting them into the THSCA Hall of Honor. Legendary Canadian head coach Chris Ketting was inducted in the Hall of Honor. If you've heard about how dominant Canadian is in high school football, Coach Ketting is probably the reason why. Ketting is arguably the most successful high school football coach in the history of the Texas Panhandle. We spoke to him after his retirement. Here's what he had to say about his career. I just can't say enough about my time here at Canadian and, and, and at other places, too. Everywhere I've, everywhere I've been, um, people have taken care of me and, and uh, helped me, and, and I sure appreciate that everywhere I've been. Ketting spent 31 seasons in the coaching profession, but is known most greatly for his unparalleled 13-season run, leading the Canadian Wildcats as their head coach from 2010 to 2023. In that time span, Ketting won over 87% of his games, with an overall record of 165-24, and including a 49-10 and record in the playoffs. He won state championships in 2014, 2015, and 2020, becoming the second Panhandle coach to win three state titles since Blair Cherry did so in the 1930s at Amarillo High. In the years he didn't win at all, his Wildcats were still wildly successful. They were a state semifinalist nine out of his 13 seasons, a mark most coaches only hope to achieve once in their career. He achieved in nearly 70% of his career. Ketting retired in 2023 due to early stage signs of Alzheimer's. Also inducted the late Mel Maxfield. Maxfield coached Amarillo High from 2009 to 2017, racking up plenty of wins along the way. But when we spoke with his children following his passing, it was clear that who he was off the field left a far greater impact. He led with respect, regardless of if they played football, if they were one of his coaches, if they were a principal at the school, or if they were a fan, no matter who anybody was, my dad was just did a really good job of making everybody feel very important and validated. The man that you saw on the field, um, what made him so successful and so impactful was the same man that you would see Sunday at church or, you know, Thursday at dinner was the same guy that you would see right after a game, win or lose. And, and I think that that is a statement to, to him. Maxfield coached for 40 years, eight of those at Amarillo High. While leading the Sandys, he amassed a record of 65-29, and 29, making the playoffs every single year. He also made stops at Forney, Burleson, and Monahans. He won Nike Coach of the Year Award in 2006, and he was awarded the Texas Sports Hall of Fame Tom Landry Award. Over the course of his career, he won over 250 games, making him one of the winningest coaches in Texas high school football history. Maxfield passed away in 2022 at 64 years old.